night, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be in the world. And today we got Harpies. Alright, I wanted to try this deck because I had a lot of fun playing it in the uh, Attribute 4. And I kind of forgot about this deck. I, I even forgot that I made it a long, long time ago. So I just wanted to revisit, try something new and... It's a fun deck, you know, it's really nothing like too crazy or too OP, but it does have a lot of stuff that can work for it. I think that if this deck were to receive more support, I think this deck could probably be up there. I feel like it's really an underdog deck because it, it, like, the Harpies uh, trap card is just cracked. Um, and, they, and the Hysteric Sign is also another card that can come in clutch and very, very cracked, but... So yeah, I just wanted to test it out, see how it does in the ladder. So we're playing currently in Platinum 4, I believe it's where I'm at right now. So all of these games are in Platinum 4. Alright, and our opponent is playing Frightfur, Fluffle, not sure what it is. I think he's also got the Ishizu cards mixed up with it as well. Alright, so up to us, we drew our opener, so we activate... Uh, Channeler, we send Harpy Lady to the graveyard, special summon Fearsome Fire Blast, and then when you special summon Fearsome Fire Blast because it's a dragon, then Channeler goes from level 4 to level 7. And then I activate the Elegant Egotist because I'm gonna make a Tomahawk. And when you make a Tomahawk, you really want to have an extra monster on the field so that you can make like a Black Luster Soldier. Alright, but our opponent is going to activate his monster from the hand and that's going to allow him to fusion summon into this big old shark or whale, not sure what it is. But we got the gold mortar in our hand, so I'm going to activate that to negate the big shark. No, no, no. Alright, then he's going to draw two, then he's going to... <laughs> Discard the Kelvig, then he's going to get the Guido too, so he's just going to mill, mill, mill everything. He mill, I don't know, like about 10 cards there. And then he's got Super Poly, bro, so on top of everything, he has Super Poly, so he breaks my board, my combo. I cannot go into my combo. He makes a Moon Dragon. But because even though this card is negated, um, it still counts as he activated an effect. And then I have Kurikara in my hand. So Kurikata can only be special summoned by tributing all face-up monsters on the field that activated their effects. So luckily I, I have this card. This card has been coming in clutch and I've been having a good time like playing this card. Alright and then I activate my shuffler because I have two trap cards in my graveyard. And the trap card as I mentioned is, is a staple in the deck. Um, it really really comes in clutch. It's probably one of the best cards in this deck by far. And then Harpy Harpies, when it's sent to the graveyard, I can add a Harpy monster from my deck to my hand. That's level, that's 1500 attack or less. And then Kurakara has an end of phase effect where I can special summon a monster from my opponent's graveyard to my field. But I guess he wanted to prevent that, so he activated his Shuffler to prevent me from special summoning any of his monsters. And he's going to activate a fusion substitute so that he can send back a card to his extra deck and then he can draw some cards. And actually I'm not 100% very familiar with this deck. Like, It seems like a cool and interesting deck. Um, I, I rarely go up against it so I have no knowledge. This is the first time that I go up against it. So he's just doing a lot of milling. Now he's playing the Ishizu card, so it makes sense he's trying to mill. I thought he was also playing some Tillamans as well, but it just seems to be like a Fluffle Viper Ishizu deck. And he's going to go into Predator Plan, Verte Anaconda, bro. And then this this fool is slick, man. He makes my Kurikata dark <laughs> so that he can Super Poly me again. Two Super Polys in one turn, bro, in one game. Man. So he makes the Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. He goes into the battle phase, he's gonna smack me for 2800, and smack me for 1900. But it's alright, bro. Harpy ladies, we, we, we're resilient. These, these girls ain't feel soft, they tough. Alright, so we go open up with our Chandler again. We send the Harpy Queen, we special summon Perfumer. When Perfumer is special summoned, she can add a Harpy related spell card from our deck to the hand. So we go into our elegant egotist. Then from here we single summon into our Hyper Slash Harpy Lady. 
then he's gonna activate Moo Dragon to kind of add some protection and it's good on him because this card has a quick effect when you activate uh, well not you but when a spell or trap card in general is activated you can target one monster your opponent controls or one harpy monster you control and you can return them to the hand so I was going to pretty much bounce back his Tarpon Venom Fusion but because he activated Moon Dragon then they're protected so instead I special summon this Harpy Lady which is going to give all of our wing monsters 300 attack and that's going to be enough for me to smack his Moon Dragon for lethal but uh, yeah man I like this duel it was very very fun I, that deck was pretty fun I you know first time that I go up against it and it, what's up my people welcome back you want me games here you already know this time we're doing something a little different we have harpies and our hand is kind of trash but let's see what we can make so we normal summon harpy ladies we can special summon our harpy pet dragon fears and fire blast so if you don't know this card right here it can special summon itself when we control a level six or lower wind monster all right and then this card becomes harpy lady when it's on the field and it gives all wind monsters a 300 attack so yeah nothing special our hand is kind of trash and to make things even more beautiful we get hit with evenly matched all right all right all right and then to make it even more beautiful we are going up against the indestructible tailament Ooh, so scary all right so he's got his sharing he's gonna try to mill three we get a little lucky he didn't mill any uh tillament cards but he has the reinhardt so he's gonna send the merly to the graveyard but we got the bd crow we're gonna banish that merly send it to the shadow realm you know say hello to my friend bakura while you out there all right then he's gonna go into baguska because i guess he also didn't have such a great hand as well but it is what it is man we got harpies all right in here we draw maxi which you know can help but not the best not what we were expecting so i'm gonna fast forward a little bit because we both kind of break a little bit here so nothing nothing too crazy going on he's got his scream all right it's back to us now we get our hysteric sign so i'm gonna activate hysteric sign so that we can add an elegant egotist to our hand and then with the elegant egotist we can special summon any harpy lady monster from our deck all right and then from here i'm gonna make an ip mascarina and the reason why i make an ip mascarina is just because i want to give extra protection to the next link summon that i'm gonna go for and then also harpy's uh pet dragon um, when he is sent to the graveyard, he has a graveyard effect where you can send a wind, wing beast monster from your deck to the graveyard. And with that, we end up sending this harpy lady, Harpy Harpist, because when she is sent to the graveyard at the end of the end phase, you can add a level 4 wing beast monster with 1500 less attack to your deck from the deck to the hand. So I'm just trying to, you know, unbreak my hand a little bit with all of that. All right, so we go into the morgue, and then since it's a Ling monster, it's not affected by Baguska, so we can spank Baguska and get him out of here. And then Simorg has uh, an effect. I can special summon any uh, wing, wing beast monster from my deck to the field at the end of the turn. He's going to activate Carol, though. I don't know why he did that to send cards back, but whatever. And then here, I special summon the Mist valley apex avian now i know that there's an infinite combo negate infinite negate combo with this card and another uh, miss valley card but just let you know this is not that I, I didn't go into that gimmick because if you go into that gimmick you have to play like dragoonity cards and you have to play like ancient fairy dragon since union carrier is banned and if i went the infinite negate route i felt like the deck is not going to be like a harpy's deck anymore it's just going to become sort of like a, a win win beast deck but anyways our opponent concedes because he's got the ishizu cards but i hit him with the maxi and i guess he just didn't want to take the challenge so mr lake thank you see you later right, what's up everybody we got our next game and this one i believe we're going up against sword soul and our hand is all right, not the greatest. So um, I activate Harpy's Queen special effects so that I can add a Harpy's Hunting Ground from my deck to my hand. 
Then I open up with Chandler. Chandler is kind of like one of your openers in the deck. So you can discard one Harpy card, special summon one Harpy monster from your deck in defense position. All right, and then if you special summon, uh, well, not even if you special summon, but if you control a dragon monster, then this card becomes a level seven. So it goes from a level four to a level seven because I special summon Harpy's pet dragon. And then using these, I make a galaxy tomahawk. And this is, I wanted to show this specific match because it kind of just shows you like a little combo you can go into. Um, so with the Tomahawk, we're going to special summon a whole bunch of tokens so that we can pretty much link climb. But I made a little mistake to be honest. You always want to have an additional monster on the field so that you can make more plays. Um, if I had another monster on the field, I could have gone into maybe like my Black Luster Soldier or... But anyways, I make... Uh, Mascarina, then I make this Doomigo, and then using Mascarina and the Doomigo, I'm gonna make some more. And again, the Mascarina is just to give some more uh, extra protection because this card really helps the deck a lot. And then at the end phase, I can special summon a monster, so we get the Avian because this card right here is pretty much kind of like an Omni Negate. But we get hit with the Dark Ruler no more, so shit, bro. Our first game, we get hit with the Evilly match. <laughs> Second game, we get hit with the Dark Ruler no more. But it's alright, bro. It's Harpies. It's Harpies. The underdog right here. Like, I feel this deck, if it has, like, more support, I don't know. I'm not sure what it could use, but it. I feel like it's an underdog deck, man. This this deck can really, really go in. I think it, it can make some interesting plays. Um, but anyways, yeah, he's doing his Source Soul Synchro Summoning thing. He's going to go into the Bahroni de Fleur. I probably butcher that. I, I cannot speak French, but yeah, Bahroni de Fleur. All right, so there goes the Baron de Fleur. And then since I, I am under Dark Ruler no more, he cannot really do any damage to me in terms of life points, but whatever, he can still attack. Um, yep, so he's going to now go into the battle phase, and he's going to get rid of all my monsters. Alright, and then I'm going to activate Evilly Match because I want him to use the Baron de Flo. I really want him to get rid use that Omni Negate, um, because he can only use that Omni Negate once per, per summon. So that when I activate Perfumer, I hopefully I don't have any interruptions. And luckily I draw Imperm, so now I can Imperm the Swordmaster right here. I activate the Heartbeat Hunting Ground so that I can pop this card back here. And then I activate Perfumer's uh, Special Effect. And Perfumer's Special Effect allows me to add a Heartbeat related uh, spell. So we go for the Elegant Egotist so that I can Special Summon a Harpy Monster. And then this is like the one of the downside of the Harpy's Hunting Ground. You have to be careful um, because... It gives all Winged Beast Monsters 200 attack and defense, and whenever a Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sister is normal or special summon, the player who conducted the summon has to target a spell or trap card on the field. And as you can see, even though our opponent doesn't have a spell or trap, that means we have to kind of pop our own cards. So that's just a little downside to the Harpy's Hunting Ground that you have to be careful with when you're using it. And then I go into the Ice Beast Zero Fame because this card can be cracked. Like this card helps a lot. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card and negate the effects of as many face-up cards your opponent currently controls. And if you do, this card gains 300 attack. So he has three monsters, so three, six, nine. I can boost it to 2,900. And then the other great thing about it is that they are negated right now. See, this is negated, but on the floor is negated. Um, and then I go into my Zeus because I really feel like I have no other plays. But going back to the Ice B Seraphane, so see they're still negated. So they're negated until it's back to my um, standby phase. And the reason why the Grandmaster is not negated because I negated it with the um, Imperm first, but because like the Baron on the floor, I negated it with the Seraphine. It's still negated so that's why that, that card right here it's really 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 cracked um this card right here because they stay negated until my next standby phase even if it leaves the field it's still the monsters are still negated and then i chain link zeus to his grandmaster he kind of misplayed there i guess he should have 
waited until I activated my Zeus and then he should have activated his Grandmaster but he kind of misplayed and then yep with that I don't know I guess he had a brick hand or something he just concedes but um yeah your father not my father your father surrendered so yeah go have a talk with your father bro he's probably crying right now in the bathroom loser haha <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to our next game and this one we're going up against a 60 card Elich Grads deck So he opens up with his elixir so that he can special summon his Elich Then he's going to set two and normal summon his glow of bloom and so that he can make an avengerate and then with the glow of bloom effect he's going to add uh, Al Ghul to his hand for extra protection all right and then it's us we have a uh, harpy's hunting ground so we can pop the back roads using our harpy's hunting ground and harpy monsters all right so we normal summon Chandler and then Chandler is going to be your starter and then when we control a dragon it's going to become a level 7 card so we can go into a tomahawk and then we got the fearsome fire blast that can special summon itself whenever you control a level uh, of harpy monster so he's going to activate his trap he's going to special summon an eldritch monster then we activate channeler we special summon perfumer and here i misclick so perfumer has a effect that when it's normal special summoned you can add one spell or trap card from your deck to your hand and here by I accidentally canceled that effect so otherwise I would I would have added an elegant egotist to my hand so I kind of screwed that up <laughs> so using these two level 7 monsters I go into the tomahawk and then the tomahawk is going to summon a bunch of tokens and then because the tomahawk is a level 7 monster I am going to make a black luster soldier a uh, soldier of chaos so that's another reason why I really enjoy this deck. Like I play a lot of like old school favorite cards of mine. Like back in the days, you know, the Black Luster Soldier was definitely one of my favorite cards. All right, and then this card, when he, it is Link Summoned using a level seven or higher monster, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And when this card destroys an opponent monster by battle, you can activate one of these effects. You can either gain 1500 attack this card can make a second attack during the battle phase of your next turn or you can banish one card on the field all right and then using these we're going to make a harpy conductor and then this is where the um, harpy's hunting ground is a double-edged sword because whenever a harpy monster is normal special summon you have to pop a spell of trap and because there's no more spell of traps on the field we have to pop our own harpy hunting ground and then from here, <laughs> I guess he gives up because I was going to pretty much attack with the uh, Black Luster Soldier. And then when I kill the Avengered using the Black Luster Soldier's effect, I was going to banish the Elvish that he has on the field. And I guess he didn't want to deal with that. And then Harpy Conductor is considered to be a Harpy Monster. And we have our Harpy's Feather Storm Trap in our hand. Which when we control a Harpy Monster, we can activate it from the hand. So... Anything that he would have activated in the next turn would have been negated, so yeah, he just concedes, but see you, man. Say hello to Bakura in the Shadow Realm, homie. Yo, yo, welcome to the deck list portion, and if you guys made it this far into the video, I just want to say thank you for sticking around, and if you enjoyed today's video, then please consider smashing that like button. It'll help the video circulate around YouTube a little more, and... Consider subscribing to the channel as it will help me grow and it'll help the channel, you know, grow and I'll be able to make more videos like these and they'll, you know, get the channel out there. So, yeah, thank you all for those who have subscribed so far and who have been continually showing support. I appreciate you all so much. But without further ado, let's get into the deck list. So, two DD Crows. This is all, you know, because of Tillament. Uh, we have one Kurikara. This is to tribute any monster that might have activated their effects on our opponent's field and it can help to break boards pretty much so yeah we got two maxis to try to draw as much as we can because we want to try to get this feather storm card into our hand as much as we can alongside with the hysteric sign um, i think yeah having these two cards in our hand it can really really help us win games 
then we have one ghost mourner this is to negate any special summon monster that your opponent may have on the field and if it's negated and they end up leaving the field then your opponent will take damage equal to their attack then we have cyber harpy lady and then we have harpy lady number one and the reason why i have these two cards specifically is because cyber harpy lady is an 1800 attack um, uh, monster so also when it's on the field it becomes harpy lady and then these two also when they're on the field they become harpy lady and then these give you the 300 attack boost so i did it just for that just because of the high damage um, i have one harpy queen this can discard itself to search for harpy's hunting ground also the it's a 1900 level 4 monster so yeah i felt it's, it's really good then we have three harpy channeler this is one of your main starters and then we have two harpy harpist you want to discard this card to the graveyard so that you can add a level 4 wing beast monster from your deck to your hand so it's sort of a searcher and then this is your second starter when this is normal summon or special summon you can add a spell or trap card from your deck to your hand that specifically lists Harpy Lady Sisters. It really sucks that we cannot search the trap card via Perfumer. I feel, man, it would make the deck so much more consistent and so much better if Perfumer would be able to search the trap, but yeah. Then we have one Oracle. If you control a level 5 or higher Harpy Monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And its second effect is when it's normal special summon, you can add one spell or trap card from your graveyard to your hand. That specifically lists Harpy Lady Sisters. And that tax, the tax Harpy Lady Sisters, it what really kills a lot of the cards because the trap doesn't have Harpy Lady Sisters anywhere in its uh, text. So that's why it, it makes it a little difficult to search via the perfumer and via the oracle because of that. So it kind of sucks. Um, but anyways, yeah, we have one Keldo and one Mudora, and this is all just because of tier limits, you know, these are the shufflers, so you already know, it just shuffle cards from your graveyard into your deck, and also shuffle cards from your opponent's graveyard into your deck, so it can counter tier limit. Uh, one Miss Valley Apex Avian, so this is sort of like an Omni Negate, and as I mentioned, you know, you can use the other avian the thunderbird monster and in combination with this and you can kind of create like an infinite negate loop but yeah to set that up sometimes you need to run dragoonity cards and the ancient fairy dragon and all of that stuff and yeah if i do all of that stuff i just felt like it's now it's no longer a heartbeat deck so yeah that's why i don't do it but just in case if you, any of you guys want to venture you know there's that option of creating an infinite negate loop with this deck so two harpies pet dragon fearsome fire blast this card um your opponent cannot target level six or lower harpy monsters for attacks and if you control a level six or lower wind monster you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position and then also if you have chandler on the field then Channeler becomes a level 7 whenever you have a dragon monster so then you can go into your uh, Tomahawk or you can also go into these red eyes flare metal dragon We have two elegant egotist So we can special summon any harpy lady monster from our deck and then this is not a once per turn card So that's really great uh, Harpy's feather duster, you know remove back row Harpy's Feather Rest, we can target three Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sisters in our graveyard and we can shuffle them into the deck and then draw one card. And if we control a level 5 or higher Harpy Monster, then we can draw two cards instead. So it can come in clutch, but just be careful with this one. If you use this, you're locked into only being able to special summon Wind Monsters. So the Tomahawk, I believe, no, the Black Luster Soldier, you won't be able to special summon if you use Harpy's Feather Rest. And then triple tactics talent just to draw cards or you know it's just a very 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 versatile card so it's worth having uh, harpy's hunting ground gain 200 attack or win these monsters and then also this is just a pop back row we have three historic sign we can search for an elegant egotist and also if this card is discarded from our field or hand then we can add up to three harpy cards with different names so, so far right now, this is the only card that allows you to search 
for the uh, Harpy's Father Storm, so that's why we run three because this is the only way that you can search for this card. Uh, we have two Forbidden Droplet, just because sometimes if we discard the Harpy, the Historic Sign, then we're able to activate its search effect, and then also you know to negate any monsters that our opponent may have. And then this is one of the best cards in the deck. If you control a wind or wind beast monster until the end of this turn, negate any monster effects your opponent activates. And if you control a happy monster, you can activate this card from your hand. So this card is just really, really cracked. And then two evenly matched, you know, just to help break boards whenever we go second. And an imperm also just to negate if we go second, just to activate from the hand. And then we have the boss monster of the deck. I wish that, you know, they would add new support if, if they can get like a stronger, like it's good, but you know, 2600 as for a boss monster, it kind of, in today's meta and how things are, it's kind of, you know, I just wish, yeah, the Harpies can get a little more support and I feel like this deck could really, I don't know, maybe make it to tier 3 or something like that, I don't know, but yeah, so we run two of them, we got the Abyss Dweller, this is just for, to uh, counter Tillaments. And it's really easy to make because we have a whole bunch of level fours, you know, level four, level four, level four. So it's really, really easy to make. We have the Ice Beast Seraphine. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card and negate the effect of as many face-up cards your opponent controls. So this includes any face-up spell cards, any face-up trap cards that the opponent may have. All of that gets negated and then it gets 300 attack for each of those. Uh, cards that are negated and the best thing about it is that these changes last until your next standby phase so you know if you run up against Tillamance if they have like a scream that's up or if the field spell is up you can it'll get negated and it'll still it'll stay negated until your next standby phase so that means they cannot scream and they cannot do anything so it's a really 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 great card and then the Baguska if we need to stall then we have the Galaxy Tomahawk. This right here is just a combo starter so that you can go into your Link Monsters. Then we have the Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. I use this specifically to inflict 500 damage to your opponent any, any time that they activate a card. You know, they'll burn for 500. Also, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects while it has uh, XYZ material. And then it has the Quick Effect. You can detach one material from this card and target one Red Eyes monster that it's in your graveyard but we don't use it because we're not running any red eyes cards in this deck and then we have the zoos you know we, we need to wipe the board as you guys saw in the sword soul deck i mean in the sword soul game and we have one great fly all wind monsters gain 500 attack and all earth monsters on the field lose 400 attack and if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect you can target one wind monster in your graveyard and then you can add it to your hand so it's just good to recycle cards. The Harpy Conductor becomes a Harpy Monster while on the field, a Harpy Lady Monster while on the field. And if a Harpy Monster you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy one spell or trap you control instead. So sometimes you can set a Hysteric Sign, and then if it was to be destroyed, you can pop the Hysteric Sign and then activate the search effect of the Hysteric Sign. That's one way to use that Harpy Conductor. Then we have IP Mascarina to either make an indestructible Black Luster Soldier or for our Simorg. And then yeah, Black Luster Soldier, I just use it because it's a favorite card and since we're running like an anime based deck, I thought, you know, why not just run this anime card and it's one of my favorite anime cards of all time as well. But yeah, we have the Doom Eagle. This card can also counter Tillament a little bit because the quick effect is you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. So, you know, if they have a Shirin or any of those cards that activate in the graveyard in order to fusion summon, you can pretty much send it back into the deck before they can activate the uh, fusion effects. So it can kind of help counter Tillament somewhat. Then we have some more, cannot be used as link material. Uh, your opponent cannot target this card or a winged beast monster this card points to with card effects. And if this card will be destroyed by battle, you can destroy another some more, but we don't use that effect because we don't run any other cards. And then during the end phase, you can special summon one winged beast monster from your hand or deck. So we use this pretty much to search for this one to get an omni negate on the field. 
and then we run the underworld goddess you know just to get rid of any monster that our opponent may have that might be kind of troublesome for us to beat over and yep that's the deck list um I'm, i will continue to experiment with it let me know if you guys want to see more harpy lady content i sure as hell do enjoy this deck and i would like to make more videos but yeah let me know what you guys think let me know if there's anything you guys would change in the deck profile and yeah thank you all so much I'll catch you all on the next one. Take it easy. Much love. Peace.